The UK, the Greenwich Foot Tunnel. Hello, and welcome to the program Here and There. I'm Deidre. It's very nice, warm, and sunny weather, so why not take a walk around London? Today, we're going to cross the Thames, but not over the bridge. We're going to cross under the river. We'll see our trip soon. But before watching today's video, let's take a look at the main words. They are as follows. Tunnel, a passage underground or a river for cars, trains, or people to go through. Ferry, a boat that carries people or goods across a river or a narrow area of water. Staircase, a set of stairs inside a building with rails. As you watch the following story, find out the answer to our main question for today. What is the Greenwich Foot Tunnel used for? We'll find out soon. What is the Greenwich Foot Tunnel used for? The Greenwich Foot Tunnel is a pedestrian tunnel crossing under the River Thames in South East London. It was designed by civil engineer Sir Alexander Binney. The Greenwich Foot Tunnel was opened on the 4th of August 1902. It replaced an expensive and unreliable ferry service. Workers living south of the Thames could reach the docks and shipyards situated on the Isle of Dogs. Now, there are tall buildings in Canary Wharf, which is a major business district. The entrance has got glazed domes with lifts and spiral staircases, allowing pedestrians to reach the bottom. The Greenwich Foot Tunnel cost £127,000 to build in 1902. What is the Greenwich Foot Tunnel used for? The Greenwich Foot Tunnel is a pedestrian tunnel crossing under the River Thames in South East London. And now, I think you're ready for a small test of your knowledge. Do you remember the words from the text? The first question is, what does the word entrance mean? A door or a gate? A room? An exit? And now let's check. What does the word entrance mean? A door or a gate? A room? An exit. The answer is it's a door or a gate that you go through to enter a place. Now it's time for our second vocabulary task for today. Match the words to the pictures. <laughs> Match the words to the pictures. Tunnel. Staircase. Ferry. Great job! Now you're going to watch the story for the second time, but spoken faster. So you'll get some extra information. Pay attention to find out the following. Around how many steps are there down into the tunnel at either end? Now, let's watch the video for the second time and answer the question. Around how many steps are there down into the tunnel at either end? The Greenwich Foot Tunnel is a pedestrian tunnel crossing under the River Thames in southeast London. 
It was designed by civil engineer Sir Alexander Binney. The Greenwich Foot Tunnel was opened on the 4th of August, 1902. It replaced an expensive and unreliable ferry service. Workers living south of the Thames could reach the docks and shipyards situated on the Isle of Dogs. Now there are tall buildings in Canary Wharf. The entrance has got glazed domes with lifts and spiral staircases allowing pedestrians to reach the bottom. The Greenwich Foot Tunnel cost £127,000 to build in 1902. There are around 100 steps at either end. The Greenwich Foot Tunnel is a convenient link between Greenwich Town Centre on the southern side and Island Gardens to the north. The tunnel is a public highway and is kept open 24 hours a day. However, the lift service is only open from 7am to 7pm on weekdays and Saturdays and 10am until 5.30pm on Sundays with no service on Christmas Day or Boxing Day. Now, answer the question. Around how many steps are there down into the tunnel at either end? The answer. There are around 100 steps at either end. As you can see, there are lots of things to see in London. It's a really exciting city. Thank you for watching us and see you next time on English Club TV. Uh, 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 uh,